Hey everyone, we're going to be learning how to do a trim paths tutorial today, which is very useful for like animating liquid um, as seen in this tutorial, just use for some transition effects. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is go to the top of the bar, go to layer, new shape layer. And we're going to hit, uh, if you have a Mac, it's return, enter the PC, layer selected to rename it. We'll call this lemonade. And I'm going to click on the square and make it yellow to differentiate from other ones. I'm going to click and drag it in the layer stack to bring it below the chair layer. Now back up on the toolbar and we're going to use the pen tool. And if this is not set uh, already to no fill, click on your fill options, click this you know, box to strike, to set to no fill, click on stroke. Uh, if you know, if it's not in, if it's not a solid color, then you know, click the solid box, OK. And to change the color, we click this color box. If it's not already a light yellow, you know, you navigate through the color picker to be light yellow. We're we'll using hex code over here. And lastly, the settings for the stroke is 30 wide. With that all done, let's move our playhead to about one minute in, so we can get a visual on where the picture is going to be when it pours and we're going to do we're going to be uh drawing a liquid coming let's see from a little bit below the liquid uh line over here i click and drag one point and i click and drag down for another point uh, after effects is pixelating just because it's trying to uh, keep my images sharp as i draw and then another one directly in the mason jar itself. If I want to change it a bit, I can alter my points, which I will do over here just a little bit. Adjusting. OK, there we go. Now, the second thing is we are going to then change some settings within the pen tool, within this uh, stroke over here. So toggle open the lemonade liquid, toggle open contents, toggle open shape one. And toggle open stroke one. And where it says line cap, we want to change that to round cap. So very good. Now our shape is set. Now we're going to be animating this. So I am going to go up. Let's see, let's push up a little bit. Here we go. And we're going to find add within the settings for lemonade liquid. We're going to find trim paths. This is what we're going to be mainly using. Um, now we are going to toggle open trim paths, of course, and let's see, with the stopwatch, let's put the playhead at around 21 milliseconds in, and we're going to change, uh, well, let's hit the stopwatch next to end to start animating that, and let's change the end value to zero, and let's hit the stopwatch next to Actually, first, let's move the playhead to about one, one second in. No, about one second in. And hit the stopwatch next to start. <clears throat> and change that to zero if it is not already there. Now we're going to go down to one second 12. And now let's change the start values to 100. And let's actually move back a little bit to 104. And we will change the end values to 100. Um, now let's marquee all of these. Right click on any selected keyframe, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and that will smooth out our animation. Let's just toggle close all those uh, options. And let's see now if switches aren't available, hit toggle switches and modes. And we have uh, you know, all our switches open. And we're going to hit this box for motion blur to enable motion blur. And this will give it a bit of blur as it moves. So that's all there is to it. Uh, just a pretty simple uh, effect to use. And I hope you enjoy using it. This has been Sakura from Noble Desktop. And happy animating.